Well, good day, all you knife enthusiasts from around the world. Welcome back to the Tiger Pit. That's right. Today we have another Arthur Wright and Son for you. Uh, purchased from James and Company. Fine pocket knives and collectibles. Uh, he is West Coast here. I think he's based out of Eugene, Oregon. So always good to do business with this feller. Uh, he's importing these from England and selling them cheaper than we could buy them straight from England and have them shipped. Very good place to shop at All About Pocket Knives. Check them out if you get a chance. Uh, well, the other day I showed my Etric. Etric, Etric. And this is the second knife I had gotten on my order. It is the Small Lamb's Foot and Stag. Now, it's kind of like a Barlow, but mm, that front bolster is pretty small. Um, I still consider it kind of like a Barlow. A work knife, for sure. Let's do some measurements here. So in this video, I'm also going to show, I've showed it before, my whole Arthur Wright and Son collection, but I will show it again. It is three and five eighths inch closed. Now the stag is not your stereotypical stag. It almost has like a, a tumbled look to it. It's not the finest stag you've ever seen, but it's stag. Look at how this side thins down and this has a nice swell. Feels good in the hand either way. Let's pull out the blade. There's no half stops. It says a nine pole, maybe an eight and a half. All relative. Let's look at the tank stamp here. It says Arthur, excuse me, the wipe off. I recently uh, lubed it up, cleaning the pivot. There is a lot of gunk from the factory. Handmade, Sheffield, England. Arthur Wright and Son, LTD, Sheffield, England. Um, I'll have to compare all these uh, tank stamps. They're all a little different. Some are the same. This is uh, T70 carbon steel. You can see the sheep's foot blade. Let's get a measurement on that. Uh, of course, made in England. It's going to be UK legal, so it's under three inches. It is actually, uh, let's get it there, about two and seven eighths inch blade with about almost two and a half inches cutting length. I'd say two and three eighths inch actual cutting length. Uh, satin finish on this blade. Uh, they come not too terribly sharp. I run them over a rod and strop them. Let's look at that stag bone. Like I said, feels really good in the hand. The swell side and you turn it around if you're doing whittling. Feels also really good in the hand. I like the bear head design. This was $49.95. What a deal for a stag handmade in England by Arthur Wright and Son. So like I said, when I shop there, you get charged uh, shipping. And I think if you add a knife, they just add a dollar to the shipping. So I like to get two or three at a time. And wow, look at that nail neck. Really cool. I'll have to compare it to my other ones. But I really wanted to get, what you saw the other day, the Etric in Ebony. And I'm not just going to order one knife. This was $39.95. I could have gotten the Rosewood, which would have been 30 bucks. And the red rosewood is very nice. Let's show one of the first ones I got. This is the large lamb's foot in rosewood. And that's what the rosewood looks like. Very nice. This one is very consistent from side to side. Let's put it alongside my short lamb's foot. So you guys can see the size difference. So yes, I have two Rosewoods, um, 
I had an ebony Barlow, which I'll pull out now. This is my Barlow, an ebony, single bladed. I'll show the tank stamps later. So I have two ebony. The Etrek and the Barlow. Um, I picked up the Stag because I had ordered a Stag Barlow and on his site it showed they had him in stock, but he didn't actually have it in stock. So this one with the file work, which I've shown before, I'm showing it again, done by Ashley, the lead cutler there, and on the back spine here, uh, he just, he was nice enough, he just threw it in at no extra cost. So I essentially got this for like $60. I think it was a $90 knife originally. Something like that. Love these Barlows. Bolsters aren't as long as you think they would be as a Barlow, but made, handmade in Sheffield, England, it's a Barlow to me. Beautiful, beautiful knife. You can see how the stag is also like a tumbled. And look at the swell. Oh, great knives. So that's one of the reasons when I was there getting the Etric, I saw this for 50 bucks. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to get it just to have two stag, Arthur Wright and Zen. Two stag, two ebony. And it all started with, I've seen this on other channels and I've really wanted to get it. Um, so I have the pruner, which this is also in ro rosewood. Now this rosewood's a little different. Look how dark and red it is on the side. It almost looks like an ebony, but it's not. And then the side's a little brown. This is like a hawkbill. Is a hawkbill with no nail nick. But I want to compare the rosewoods. This is red. This is brown. Flip it around. This is like a dark, dark. So the rosewood does vary, and it's very nice. I, oh, like I said, I almost got the Etric in rosewood. Ebony, you can see how dark it is. It's a high quality hardwood. Uh, it's like a $10 upgrade, not too big of a deal. So there you go. Two ebony, two rosewood, two stag, and had to get the peacher. I had this for a while. They had it in buffalo horn. I love this buffalo horn, the white in there. Just beautiful. And I don't see any more buffalo horn. I would love to get like the Etric or a Barlow in this buffalo horn. I just don't see it. What's unique about this one, that's awesome sway back, is all these are satin finished. And I know this has like oil or grease and here I can wipe it off. I wax it. Uh, this is a mirror polish. I don't know how I got this deal. It was like under $49.95, $50 or something. And, and it's very nice. If I can find more buffalo by them, I will. So this is the one oddball. When I do find a buffalo, I will add it. So now I want to compare the Tang stamps. This one said Sheffield Handmade England, kind of boxed in there. I already showed this one. I'll show it again. A. Wright and Son LTD Sheffield England, not boxed in. Same thing on these lambs foot. A. Wright and Son Sheffield England. Poles are just insane. Definitely childproof. Okay, so the printer has the same tank stamp as the last two. Wipe it off here. A right Sheffield England does not say LTD. Very interesting. So I don't know what it means. Maybe that's their dating system. A Wright and Son, Sheffield, England. Does not say LTD. 
and A. Wright and Son LTD, Sheffield, England. So very fascinating how they have like three different, two or three different stamps going on here. Um, but yes, I just wanted to highlight this one because I showed my Ed Trek the other day. Very cool. Um, like I said, I got it for the stag because it was just an incredible prize. And the sheep's foot, it is a very usable blade. Similar to a worn cliff, but not quite. And just great work knives. I need to really carry these more. I mean, I've carried this Barlow to work. I've carried this to work. Um, it's not peach season, so I can't um, use my peacher. <laughs> Uh, and pruning, I don't do much pruning in the garden. My girl does that. Maybe I'll hand this over to her. I don't think she could actually open it, though. Quite possible. Uh, really good knives. I like me a good traditional, and especially from Sheffield, England. Handmade. Thank you for joining me. Checking out my collection. You can obviously see... The rosewoods are different. That's the best bang for the buck. For sure. $30 range. I, I think this might have been more because it was the pruner. Um, the original ones, they came in this box with the foam and this, this nice plaid pattern. Obviously with the James and Company lid. They come in plastic bags because I think he buys these in bulk and they just come in plastic bags. So he does the packaging himself. Uh, my most recent, uh, he must have ran out of the ran out of the plaid felt, and so I got bubble wrap. But that's okay. Thank you very much, Jim, for sending these to me. I love them. I will be buying more for you. He also has more stuff. He has Rosecraft. He has a Taylor Eye Witness. Michael Mays. Uh, sometimes he has some GECs on there. A wide variety of awesome knives. Go check them out. I'm really thinking about getting another Peacher. This has got to be an awesome, definitely an awesome swayback. Um, I've carried it before, and it's just fascinating. And, you know, Case is not making their swayback anymore. I don't see him anymore. I do see the, the black synthetic. Um, and this is very similar size. That's actually a little bit a hair longer than the case sway back. I love this kind of half hawk Warren Cliffish blade. And it's polished. So I'll keep my mouth shut and close all these so you can hear them. Oh, man. That one's a worker for sure. Love the hawk bills. Love a single-bladed Barlow. The clip point's got to be one of my favorite. And the Etric. One of a kind whittler. You guys stay sharp, be kind, and take chances. Take care.